Today we're going to do the traditional centripetal force lab that everybody does, even though it's a terrible lab. And I'll explain why at the end of the video. But for now, let's take some measurements and get this started. First, finding the mass of the hanging mass that goes on this. Let's make sure we zero it out. There we go. We get a mass of 89 point, let's call it 6. Now for the mass of the rubber stopper. It is around 35.6. Now we need to set the length of our device here. So I'm going to put the middle of the rubber stopper right at about zero centimeters. Right about there. And then for the glass tube, I want to put the end of that right at about 50 centimeters, right there. And I want to use a little alligator clip to clip onto the string to make sure I have a good marker about where that is. So that I know that I'm keeping that length fairly consistent. All right, now that we got all that taken care of, let's swing this thing, see what happens. Okay, I want to attach our mass to the rope so that will supply the centripetal force for our rubber stopper as it swings around. And I am going to make sure that that alligator clip is right below the glass, you know, and get the swinging and as I swing it, you're going to count however many number of revolutions that you want. 10, 20, whatever. And you're going to time that. You're going to take the time that you got and divide by the number of revolutions to get the period of the rubber stomper as it swings around. So let me get the swinging and you can start counting. All right. Now you can go. Okay, that should be enough. Now, now that you know, or you can figure out the period, and you know the weight of the hanging mass, because you know it's mass, so you can find its weight, you should be able to find, with this, the period that it takes this to go around once, the linear speed, the centripetal acceleration, and the centripetal force. And compare the centripetal force to the weight of the hanging mass and see how close they match because the weight of the hanging mass is supplying the centripetal force for this because the hanging mass is pulling on the string. Odds are they won't turn out to match. The reason why is because was this swinging around level or was it doing this? That brings another factor in about what we forgot about this guy. All right, thank you and tune in for some more labs and have some more fun with physics. Goodbye.